I'm something we're very proud of. This is actually the most powerful drill the has ever made. Wow. So, Todd, 60 volt threader by DeWalt threading pipe. Let's Cordless go. solution. Oh, that's nice. So this is the, the uh, die arm. The reason in the past you had to push your hand against this, we don't want your hand anywhere near it, so you have this die arm that protects your hand. Oh, that is nice. Got a couple threads started. I can move this out of the way. That was a great big picture of a phone filming <laughs> a uh <laughs> you notice it's going in reverse twice as fast and that way you can move it off the material faster. Is this out yet, Todd? Uh launched next week. How many RPMs is that thing? Uh it's 30 and forward and 60 in reverse. Awesome. Can we do it again without the phone log in the way, please? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, you guys, today is definitely going to be an interesting day, but not just because of the cool tools that you're going to see from DeWalt coming up down the pipeline, but because of what I had to go through to get the uh, the footage for you guys. Stafta was actually closed to media, to cameras, period. They weren't allowed in. And so for us to get footage, we had to follow a strict set of guidelines. For one, we had to walk up and ask if we could film first, which I think is just common courtesy. But number two, then we weren't allowed any cameras, not even a GoPro. And so to actually film, everything had to be done on an iPhone. So everything you're gonna see today was done on an iPhone 11, which, Thankfully, the new iPhone 11s kind of kick butt. You tell me what you think of the footage down below. And um, then the Stafta event, some of you guys may be wondering why would Stafta ban cameras and ban media and ban all these people. Ban, 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 ban. It made making it almost impossible to get good footage. Well, here's what I heard. I heard that somebody was going around last year and just throwing a camera in people's faces and being inconsiderate and rude. And so they implemented all these rules, rules to protect the venue, vendors, but I think they went way overboard because I think they're actually harming the vendors now by not allowing them to get publicity on their new tools. So we did, uh, we did a little pirating. We went undercover and uh, we would walk from one venue, get permission to film, pull the iPhone out, film. So we've got the best of DeWalt coming today, but then we got the best of the entire event coming in another video. And this event was mind blowing. Some of the tools, gear, and equipment in this event were, I was I way better than I ever expected. So you'll see that one in an upcoming video. So make sure you guys subscribe and stick around. Without wasting any more time, let's go check out what's happening at the DeWalt booth. Was that close to 60 seconds? Yeah, that you was, were right under 60, you were good. Yep, yeah. all right, I'm filming Dan. Filming Dan at DeWalt. Oh my god, this used to be such a cool industry, man. That's just ruining it all. You're just ruining it. I'm a little embarrassed. I don't want to be on camera. Exactly. All right, Dan, so, the tool man, what do we got? So what we have here is a brand new 20 volt blower, which is an axial design, part of our 20 volt system. Biggest thing that we've done now is with the new brushless motor that we have is 450 CFM, blowing at 125 miles an hour. You'll see a different looking nozzle on the front, which is more of a concentrator nozzle, but we have a small scraper on the front end. So as, if you're into heavier oh, debris, yeah, snow, snow I, well, yeah, it'll push can, a little bit, yeah. absolutely. Thanks, and then with, uh, with the heavier leaves, right, and blowing it off, and then you also have the cruise control right there. 
And then by far best thing, obviously working off of the 20 volt battery platform, which powers more than 200 tools in the wall. 20 volt. Cool. When's it available? Coming Q1 of 2020. Standard three year warranty from the wall? Yes, sir. Okay, and then real fast, is that gray just prototype or is it going to be gray? Um, that's a good question. I believe that this is the finished model. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so it's going to be great. All right, just I've never seen that on a DeWalt tool. It looks kind of cool, I think. Actually, yeah, it does. Good. All right, cool. Thanks, brother. Thank Appreciate you, it. guys. Thanks to Dan's. All right, so I'm going to jump in here on that leaf floor because, you know, DeWalt says they've made this leaf floor designed to scrape. But one of the things I noticed that that guy was doing was he was really bending down to actually get at the right angle to scrape. I would think if they're going to design a leaf floor and put a special tip on the end just to scrape, they could extend it out enough so that a guy, as he's working, he can just scrape with it just kind of naturally and not be at an awkward angle. So you guys tell me what you think of that scraper function and then why would you put a special tip on it just to scrape? I mean, if you're going to scrape with a leaf blower, you can scrape with just about any tip that's out there. You're just not really doing it any good. That's all. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think of that one. All right, so what are we looking at here, guys? So this is our... 20 volt atomic impact driver. This one? And this one is our 12 volt extreme impact so, driver. There are two new, uh, two new lines that we've launched in the DeWalt brand. The atomic 20 volt unit uh, focuses on ergonomics, but is still part of our 20 volt platform, which is compatible with over 240 uh, tools. This is our 12 volt extreme, again, focuses on ergonomics, ultimate ergonomics as you can see it's one of the smallest impact drivers that we make so relatively small you've lightened them up shrunk them down but haven't compromised on power out of them agreed all right so this next one is one that really makes me go hmm and what i'm talking about is we're going to see a demonstration uh in the dewalt booth of a dewalt cutting blade a cutting blade of, of dewalt versus diablo and then when we're done looking at this demonstration, we're going to go into Diablo's booth where they took their blade versus the DeWalt and got entirely different results. And I don't know how. So you guys watch this whole series and tell me what's going on because I don't know. All right, so DeWalt's taking on Diablo in this demonstration, Matt? You got it. Yep. Yeah, we've got our new uh, DeWalt circular saw blade here. We've got the Diablo uh, framing blade, which is very popular in the market. We're going to cut a 2 inch by 12 uh, piece of lumber with stainless steel nails inserted all along the edge. And we're just going to, we'll start with the DeWalt, we'll go all the way down, and then we'll do the same with the Diablo. And the battery way. power will be the same on both of them because we're actually using the same, the same battery. We're going to use the, the FlexVolt battery, 9 amp hour. Okay. And all right. Saws are identical. All right, well, let's see how this goes. This is where I'll add dramatic music in. Dun, dun, dun. Here. So your teeth are all intact still. That's what you're trying to show right now, right? Correct. Okay. All the teeth are there. Right, he wants me to make sure I see that. Okay, cool. Yeah. And this is a brand new Diablo right blade. You can see all the teeth are on the blade. All right. Yeah. We're going to do the same cut all the way around. Ready? Yep.
you can see here the difference in the teeth. So all of the teeth are missing. Can you bring it a little closer, Matt? I can't reach. There we go. All of the teeth are missing? All of the teeth are missing. And it, as we were cutting, you notice it cut really well all the way till here. You guys are selling. And that's when you that's when you started losing the teeth. And then it struggled for the rest of the way. So huge difference. So is that new blade out by DeWalt? It is out. It's now shipping. Yeah. So it just came out? It's doing well. It's been out for a few months now. Oh, okay. But you can see an example. I'm pretty clear. Are you selling this blade? You know? Same saw. Wow. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it, buddy. That's by DeWalt. So now let's go to the Diablo event and see how their version of this same test goes. Right? Are you ready? One, two, three, go. sure but it was a hard cut I mean you can see me pushing it through especially with this wet pressure treated lumber and hitting those drywall screws they spark they're case hard and they're hard and when you have something going through that and the motor is working so hard that these tools are designed to turn off and the batteries are drained yeah Blair tracking point cut consistently effortlessly the drywall screws are extra hard especially when you initially impact them but all the tips look fine and it's good to make more cuts yeah. Ready to go. So you guys tell me in the comments down below what you think of those two tests because I don't know what to think. It's tough when they come up with the same test but two different results. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think happened with that one? Let's go check out some more cool tools from DeWalt, you guys. Hey, do it. Dude perfect your phone through the hole. Dude perfect it's it. It's my new iPhone, dude. Do it. All right, I'm doing it. He's gonna dude perfect it. Ready? Dude yep. perfect. I hey, do this is my brand new iPhone. Man. <laughs> Come on, right, you guys. This is how you get the perfect shot. iPhone 10. It's only like 1,500 bucks. Whatever. I'm and he's doing got it, it recording. I'm doing this for Stanley. Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a fail, dude! <laughs> what a fail! <laughs> you just freaking just pounded your phone into a piece of wood. You didn't even throw it. My audience. You didn't even throw it. You literally just. Dude, that's hard. How am I gonna get it through there? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find out what this piece of wood is so holy for. All right, what do we got here? What's this mess? So, uh, he has the. ECD 470. It is our stud and joist drill. Wow, that thing is huge. It, it is, is but it packs a powerful punch. Uh, and I'll, I'm, something we're very proud of. This is actually the most powerful drill the wall has ever made. So, wow. Okay. Pretty big statement. Now, how do you get that? Via electronics, via gearing, or how is that accomplished? It's really a combination of things. One, it's our flexible uh, system. Okay. So this is a 60 volt uh, stud and joist drill. And we're able to leverage the flexible technology to drive, driving it through better modules, gearing, and ultimately a bigger motor, right? To be able to power through some really tough stuff. Cool, is it on the market yet? It is, Okay, yes. let's see it go. Please, sorry. Yep, we're right here. Honestly, hey, what did we learn today? We're safety glasses, right? Thank you. Safety, safety Googles. All right. That destroyed that wood. Holy crap. So we're going to actually take a look at this whole saw working the right way. It doesn't destroy the wood. It just got enough power, too, if you're not careful. 
So guys, this is Patrick. Patrick with the publication. Fine home building. Fine home building. And you were saying off camera that this is awesome. Why? Because it's tiny. It's so impossibly small. Everybody wants a smaller impact driver. And I don't know how it could get any smaller than that. What do you think of it? The hand feel. This, I mean, like, you know what? Also, Nobody's paying so you to say any of this. Picked, what do you really think of this? It's very comfortable. And the guy, uh, I said, well, how many inch pounds is it? I don't know. He's like, we have some screws, lag screws to drive. So um, I did. You want to see? Yeah. You're using the 12 volt. Yeah. All right. Just like it's supposed to. So there's a couple, three things going on. DeWalt is launching. They don't officially call it 2.0, but it's got 30% more power. So this is a new battery by DeWalt, scheduled to come out in June of 2020, and it's a 9 amp hour. So it's supposed to provide more power, better runtime to the FlexVolt line of tools. All right, we are with Idan from. DeWalt, what are we looking at? We are looking on the TAF system 2.0, okay? We did a lot of modification and changes, and new stuff in the 2.0. But the main thing you have to remember, one, the system is larger in 20%. Second thing, we upgraded all our, all our latching system. Front latch with plastic and metal wire, and patented auto stack side latches. Very easy to use. You press them, they stay pressed, you take the box out. If you want to lower it down, no need extra money. Just lock it down. It's very easy to use. Third thing, everything is backwards compatible with the 1.0. And the last and great thing is we have a new platform in the 2.0. The half size organizer. You can click it on the top of the lid very easily. You're set to go. All right, so Idan is going to show us the radio that's on the new Tough system. Yeah, so this is actually the best radio in the market. Why is that? We have a 55 uh, watt RMS amplifier with four speakers and two subwoofers, total of six uh, speakers, giving us 360 degrees sound, clear sound, great sound. Second thing, backwards compatible with 1.0 and 2.0. Third thing, IP54, charging 12 volt, 20 volt, and now all flexible. All flexible, okay. We have a new screen, a touch screen. The battery now I need to replace, but it's a touch screen that also has a flip screen. When you put it like this, then the, 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 the screen flips. We have a DRC mode, dynamic range control, for indoor use and outdoor use, to better uh, make your sound fit the environment that you're working in. And all of the new Tough system is backward compatible with the existing 1.0. This exactly. is the 2.0 system, right? Exactly. Awesome. All right, guys, we got a lot more cool tools coming at you from DeWalt. Let's move on to the next one. Hey, Don, your time is up, brother. Thank you. All right. Wow, we never Thanks, said man. that. Looking at Dave. So this is our new uh, atomic four and a half inch surf saw. It gives you really good reach. So when you're ripping a long sheet of plywood and you can't walk around the, the side, this allows you to, to get more reach and make it an easier cut. Is this new? Is this out? Yes, this is just came out. It's actually shipping a couple as of a couple weeks ago. So this just came out by DeWalt. Yes. And so this will be hitting store shelves now then, right? Correct. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Brand new by DeWalt. This is a roofing nailer, Mike? Yeah, cordless, cordless roofing nailer. So tell me, run me through the specs of it real quick, will So you? it's part of our 20 volt system, okay? Um, it is going to accept between three quarter, an inch and three quarter, 15 degree coil roofing nails. I think the key thing to keep in mind with it um, is that it's a fantastic complement to the pneumatic tools that a lot of the crews are going to be running. So for pickup, punch out, or service type work, 
this is going to be an absolutely perfect solution for those guys. When is this coming out? April of 2020. So these guys can't get it yet. Correct. But they'll be able to pretty quick. Absolutely. Yep. We, we believe it'll retail approximately $399 uh, for the kit and about $319 as a barrier. Bear tool. All right. New from DeWalt. Not out yet. And that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the quality was up to snuff since I was filming on an iPhone. And the next video series that we're coming out from Stafta, which will be coming down the pipeline in a bit, is got some phenomenal content. Just some of the best tools I could find and stuff that just, wow, it just was very impressive. I hope you, you uh, will enjoy that video. I hope you'll stick around. That's all I got for you today, guys. God bless you guys. Go get them. You know, sometimes I say that God bless and go get them a little too fast and I feel like I lose the sincerity to it. But I really want you guys to have the absolute best of everything. And I hope these videos help you out. Um, so I'm gonna ask you guys a, a question. You know, I'm trying to do educational videos, trying to do tool related videos, and then job site videos. Is that a good combo? I mean, I try to rotate them, try to keep it fresh and interesting, and I know a lot of you guys aren't watching the educational stuff as much, but I'm hoping that if I still include it in there, because it does actually hurt my channel when you guys don't watch a video, it actually crashes my channel, but I'm hoping that the deeper content improves your guys' processes enough to make it valuable. That's it. So that's all I got for you today, guys. This was the tool related one. We'll probably have a job site one and maybe an educational interview coming down the pipeline. God bless you guys. Go get them. We'll see you on the next one.